In big security, to save America, we need another 9-11. That's what one columnist is advocating as a way to unite America. Nearly six years after the heinous terror attacks, he says, we have forgotten our enemy. He says the Iraq war has divided the U.S. The Republicans and Democrats are on the attack over the war. We pulled together after 9-11, but he justifies his controversial statement by saying the United Front just didn't last. And now, Bloggers are outraged. Some say the journalist should be fired from his job for suggesting we, quote, need another attack. So is this just a means to shock or offend, or does this columnist actually have a valid point? Well, he's here now live to explain. Philadelphia Daily News columnist Stu Biofsky. So, Stu, uh, let me let you say it again. Uh, what do you say America needs at this point? Well, my thesis here is that uh, we're terribly divided. There's disunity in this country, and as a divided country, we're weak. When I look back over what has pulled the country together over the past few years, 9-11 united the country. say that we are going to be attacked again, we will be united again, that's a sort of inevitability to that, or that in order to achieve this unity, we actually need to suffer. Uh, John, I didn't actually call for an attack on the United States. Uh, I can see where people read it that way, but I didn't actually say it. However, another attack on the United States is inevitable. I believe that, don't you? Yes, I do, actually, and I okay. think it's going to take a lot of dead people to wake America up. the fact that uh, this country has come apart on the war. The fact that the war, we've made mistakes in the Iraq war, the fact that uh, we have Democrats and Republicans that are arguing, to each other, arguing with each other about the Iraq war, we've forgotten what war we're actually in, and that's the one that was declared on us on 9-11. Yeah, but that's not the part that's so shocking about his column in the Philadelphia Daily News. The part that's so shocking is that he says another 9-11 attack would really help us. It would help this country be unified and come together again. I know again what he means. And have that sort of... Well, I mean, it's true that after 9-11, we had... Uh, we were unified. First, we were unified. hour war of uh, the Persian Gulf War in 1991, although it didn't help the president, uh, then President Bush much, but he says he compares it to the Brits. The Brits for 40 years were in Northern Ireland, whether you agree with it or not, for 40 years they were getting shot at. They just pulled out after 40 years. After four years, we're fed up and so fed up we're fighting with each other and he does say the bungling of certain points in the war have got us to this point, but therefore right. we're off track. Well, that's fine, Brian, but I mean I think his, his premise is flawed that another attack makes you better. Look at Israel. Is that country, is everybody there happier and all their problems are over because they've but had they more know, terrorist they attacks fighting. than we have? They know who they're fighting. There, no, one's, no one's saying we should uh, leave. No one's saying we should abandon our homeland.
here, you walk around the country, no war on terror is a bumper sticker. The war on terror is being lost. We're in the, we're in the wrong war. But if you, and Democrats are bad, Republicans are bad. Okay, so but how if, many... if the Golden Gate Bridge blows up and he's saying as bad as that is, yeah. it would bring the country That's together. That's great. How many people would have to be killed and murdered for that to happen? He's...